this is Matt Blackburn and you're watching Divine Superconductor TV. Today I'm talking about light once again. So I'm wearing these blue blocking glasses and I have this thing up my nose. What I'm using is a Vilight. It's low level light therapy in the near infrared range. This has been called photobiomodulation. And what that means is light applied to the body is altering biology. So beyond food and supplementation and detox protocols, the most important thing you can do is to regulate your relationship with light. When you think about it, most of us, even the health nuts, are blasting our eyes with the blue wavelength of light after dark. In the olden days we would have a fire or candlelight which are high in red and orange. Now we're looking at screens all the time. We're looking at this alien artificial light that is extremely high in the blue wavelength. If you've ever seen someone hosing their lawn on a sunny day and you see the rainbow in the stream. All the colors are contained in the sunlight. And same with all other light sources. All of the colors are there. But the problem is with artificial light, with iPads, iPhones, computer screens, it's extremely high in the blue wavelength. And what the blue wavelength of light does is it goes in our eye, rides the optic nerve, the hypothalamus gland throws off the SCN, the suprachiasmatic nucleus. It's the timekeeper of the brain. It tells us that it's daytime or it's nighttime. And when that clock is off, when the internal clock is off, it throws off our circadian rhythm. And what happens is it, it suppresses melatonin production. So we're supposed to have a, a rise of cortisol and then drop. And then as cortisol is going down at nighttime, when the sun's going down, we should have the rise of melatonin, which helps us sleep. And beyond that, it's a master hormone. It actually is the major magnetic force in all of the mitochondria of our cells, the powerhouse of the cells. So you can see it's blinking there. This is a 810 nanometer long wavelength of light is flashing at 10 hertz the same frequency as the alpha state of our brain so from low to high it goes theta delta alpha then beta so alpha is a state of high performance where we can still perform functions that we need to but we're in a relaxed state this tool the violite has been a huge addition to my biohacking repertoire. Sometimes I'm not able to wear these glasses. Say I'm out at a restaurant, I'm out with friends, and I go home and I'm going to sleep. My body's going to have a hard time falling asleep because I've been telling it that it's daytime. In addition to the Neurophone, this technology, the intranasal light therapy, so sticking a light up your nose, has been the greatest addition to my toolbox. And of course these glasses as well. I recently got these. I have about four or five different pairs of blue blockers and these block out 99 plus percent of the blue light so that you can still operate. They do sell screens you can get for your phone where you're not getting that light. It actually blocks it but the best solution is to wear these glasses because no matter what's going on in your environment you're not going to be blasting your hypothalamus and affecting your pineal gland. My favorite glasses, although goofy, are these ones. They have full protection, even the top and the sides. And I sleep really well with these. So essentially with this, what's happening is it goes up the nose and it's shooting a beam of 810 nanometers wavelength light. So we know that the brain is encased by a bony skull. 
So other than the area of the brain stem that connects the spinal cord to the brain, the thinnest part of the skull is the thin perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone. In ancient Egypt, they used to break this part in order to drain out the brain matter for the mummification process. Surgery involving the midbrain, they'll go in through the nose this way and break that because it's just an easy access to the, to the brain. This therapy has been used for depression alleviation, anxiety reduction, relaxation, dementia and Alzheimer's, brain injury recovery, stroke recovery, Parkinson's, headaches and migraines, sleep improvement, energy improvement, epilepsy, and cognitive enhancement. If you have a chance to try this technology, I highly recommend it. I personally am using this for anti-aging reasons, for brain health. I like to use it right before bed because I find that I get a really deep sleep because I'm sending a red wavelength of light into my brain that's different from blue. So remember that blue light suppresses melatonin. It tells our body that it's daytime. The sun is really high in blue light. But at night we want that red, that orange, as if we would get from a fire as we were evolving in this body or with candlelight natural lighting. Artificial lighting is more toxic than bad food. Light is really important. There's a lot of great info out on intranasal therapy. Uh, Daniel Vitalis on the Rewild Yourself podcast interviewed a man that was talking about this and he was saying that within three days of wearing these glasses his sleep was dramatically improved. Anyone with sleep problems, if they use these devices, dramatic improvement in sleep quality and depth. And that has been my experience. Even just from five minutes of wearing it for this video, it's starting to shut down my brain. It's really powerful technology. But the number one thing, get yourself blue blocker glasses. If you're not going to do Photoshop work or something where you need to see the colors, then it's definitely important to get these. You will notice a difference within a couple days. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment below, and look forward to more videos.